Hey everybody, Parn Joe here, and welcome back for part two of Let's Play Pikmin 2. Wow, that's not really weird. <laughs> Anyways, uh, I don't remember. Where... Oh yeah, last time we started the game. Um, it's been quite some time since I last played this game, but uh, I'll explain that in a little bit. But now you see on the title screen, um, there's this thing on the side. If you click L, called Piklopedia and Treasures. I will be showing that at the end of the game because there's um, like some notes to read and stuff, so that'd be bonus material, all that stuff. So we're not gonna get into that now, but let's go back to Valley Repose and do some more stuff. But yeah, it has been two weeks or so since I uh, last actually played this game. So the last time I recorded it, which I uploaded it, you know, to you guys last week, but. I recorded that like two weeks ago, so it's been it's been quite some time since I played this, so I might be rusty, <laughs> or even recorded any videos. Anyways, good morning, wicked is ready for another day of to tolling for the profit of your company. The Pikmin seem to still be asleep inside their onion. What lazy creatures! Oh, so basically it represents America. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> no wonder they lack survival skills. Stand beneath the onion and press A to call them out. And it zooms in on the onion, because, you know, we don't know what that means, apparently. Okay, so let's whistle for Louie. And same thing as, like, in the other games, you know, you just go into the onion and get him out and stuff. There's going to be a lot of these, uh, things, these, uh, pellet seed things. I don't know what to really call them, but we're going to be growing a lot of Pikmin in this, uh, episode, so. Because reds are going to be one of the most useful Pikmin in the, uh, Pikmin type in this game. Now, a new thing that's in this game that wasn't in the first one is this, the five pellets that are in the uh, flowers. There was five pellets, but they weren't in flowers. Uh, this one, they have them in flowers, so that's pretty cool. I believe that's the uh, tall... I think, actually, they have ten ones. I don't remember, though. But we're gonna need these because I think we need, like, 35 or something. Let me just double-check here. Yeah, you need 35. Let's just check over here, because I think there's, uh, some over here. Yeah, there is. Okay. Cool. Not many, but... Come on. They're really slow for some reason. Or is all of them are really fast? The world may never know. And right, they can bring those back. And we're almost at the 35, so that's great. And we're up to 35. Sweet. Alright. So for these guys. See, so yeah, the plucking is a lot faster now because there's actually two uh, captains plucking them out both. Uh, so Louie will help us pluck them out automatically. So that's cool. And we just gotta wait for these things. Because we don't have enough. Come on. I'm probably going to cut until they're there or something if I don't have anything to say. So if I if you see random cuts, that's why. All right, finally. And there's uh, this five pellet. In case uh, you guys didn't see it, it was up here. So there was uh, something that grew there. Like a five pellet flower that grew there. So. All right, let's pluck these out. And then I guess that's done for growing Pikmin for now. Thank God, thank God they, like, instantly grow as soon as they, like, go into the ground. So, like, in the first game, I had to wait, like, wait and wait and wait and wait. I guess that's why a lot of people don't really like Pikmin's, because you gotta do all the waiting, but. It's not that bad of a game. Alright, now once that's down, we got this enemy. This time, it can kill you, so be careful of that. They can't eat your Pikmin, so. Kill that. Now, this guy, he was introduced to the first game, the Bulb Borb. But I think he's called Ball Blacks or something like that? I don't know. There's also a gate that we have to break down over here. But let's kill this guy, because we can grow some Pikmin and then help him break that gate down. Now, this game, the uh, thing that I did in the first game... You don't need to do. Because look how fast we killed him. Like, you don't have to guard them all against his, like, you know, gather them and then kill them like that. Like, you know, like, have them all attack him at once. You don't have to do that in this game. Because, just throwing them. They're like, uh, they, uh, upgraded their power, so, you know, they're a lot stronger in this game. 
That's good stuff. So I guess these eights that we have for remaining will break the gate. Hey, what are you doing? Straggler! Help your brothers. Okay, so uh, all the Pikmin grew, but before we uh, help them work on this gate, if you head over here, you might notice there is a treasure. We can get 35 of them to work on that treasure. Now, we'll be on our treasures. I believe there's 201 of them in this game. I don't call me on that because I'm not 100% sure on that. So, yeah, there's a treasure there. Yay for that. Now I'll cut away until the treasure's there, and then, uh, and or the bridge is, uh, until that gate's broken. Okay, so they broke down the gate. How could Pikmin assure such a massive wall then when mass their might is furious? Louis, did Alamar instruct you to prop prepare the Pikmin command protocol? Apparently not. Alamar, you are failing your duty as superior ca a superior. Allow me to explain. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Press A to grab a Pikmin, blah, blah, blah. He's just telling you how to throw and grab Pikmin, like, how to use the Pikmin. Which I did explain, thank you very much. And then, they're gonna bring this back any second now. Let's see what we got. Hundred and seventy Pocos. Name Utter Scrap. Sure. Okay, so now all of that is done. We're done for now with the outer thing. We can't up um the um with this area. We can't really do much anymore until we get different species. So we can when I'm like there's no treasures or anything left, so if you head over here, there is our very first hold interesting warm air is welling up from the hole in the ground before you what could it lie underground what is wrong you both should show expression of unease do you f do, do not fear the leaders group of Pikmin will join I shall despite my report pod too all right so now we're going in our very first uh, hole and now this is what makes this game very different from any other game, or from the uh, for other Pikmin game. There's actually dungeons in this game. Now the, it doesn't all take away, uh, it doesn't all take place on ground. We actually go underground, and this is our first dungeon, Emergence E Cave. So yeah, this is our first thing in our uh, first uh, dungeon, and you might notice with the dungeons, there's sub levels. Sub levels, you know, there's like floors, and there is no time limit, so you can spend the eternity down here if you wanted to. So now we're gonna be introduced to sub new. And now this is where the majority of your treasures would come from, from dungeons, and um, like the majority of yeah, the majority of your treasures. This is the new enemies. I believe they're called snowball blobs. I'm not entirely sure on that. They're like. They're like those regular ones, you know, they're the same thing, and uh, I lost my first pick with that thing. Sad mountain. Yeah, there's some items down here. Uh, the enemies, uh, you can't grow Pikmin down here, by the way. If you lose them, they're gone for good. If you lose them, you can't grow any down here. So, try not to lose any down here as well. Try not to lose any at all, but, you know, especially down here, you can't grow them. But what you could do with the enemies, you could bring them actually back to your ship, and uh, it will count as Pocos. So, <laughs> all right, they brought back the first treasure, and what is it? It's a Seven Up Cap. Quench em emblem. Okay. Hey, look, we had 69 Pikmin. Lol. 
Here's what happens when you bring enemies. Now the enemies don't get named. Basically what it will happen is they will they don't give much, but they give a little bit, you know, like two pokos at a time. But yeah, they give something to your total. So if you're going for like a speed run, it's a good idea to collect all the enemies. And the bigger an enemy, the more it's worth. Citrus lamp. Alright. Now you hear this noise. That noise means you've collected all the treasures for that floor. Later on, we'll be getting an item that will indicate, uh, that will uh, let us know what items, if we got all the items or not. So, let's go deeper. Alright, sub level 2. Final floor! Okay. Same enemies. Yeah, these are the only enemies that are down here for now. There's gonna be all different kinds of enemies. And trust me, this game, it seems easy now, right? But it gets a lot harder, let me tell you later. Huh. And uh, here's our first key treasure. Whenever you get this little cutscene towards the treasure, that means it's a key treasure. Now, key treasures, if you press start, you go to your menu, right here. These I like to call key treasures. Now, these we'll be getting all throughout, like, we're we'll going to be getting these through boss battles, and uh, just randomly scattered about, but the majority of them will come from boss battles, so these things will, these things um, are, like, the regular treasures, they just add to your total. These add to your total, plus give you, like, help in your game, so, like, some of them will help us throughout our journey, so... But right now we can't lift this up because as you see it needs 101. You may be wondering, what? You can carry more than 100 Pikmin in this game? No. You'll see what I mean later. And actually in a couple minutes here. To kill these enemies. Alright. Oh, there's one more. Oh my god. I almost ran right into it. There ya. Very nice. Alright. What's this? A purple flower. A flower booms in caves. Blah, blah, blah. Come on. Alright, so, uh, if you don't know what these are, if you never played the first one, basically what these things would do is, depending on the color, you would throw your Pikmin in there and it would turn into that color, so, like, in the first game. But in this game, we have... Instead of... We have a new species of Pikmin in this game, which are... The... Purple Pikmin! These things are extremely overpowered. These things weigh as these things. Uh, one of these things equal ten of a regular Pikmin. So that is how we will have more like some ship parts that require more than 100 Pikmin. That's how we'll get them with the with the purples. And purples will also be really helpful in battles. Like they will make battles go so much quicker. Like we kill enemies a lot faster. Um. The only downside to purples is that they are extremely slow, as you'll see. Like, look at how slow they are. They will always drag behind, so they are very slow. Just keep that in mind. I don't need the enemies. Uh, I believe there's one treasure down here, which is that globe. So let's go get that. As you see, our total will go up massively. Yeah, look at that. 130, 159 Pikmin. Nice. Oh, also, when you're carrying things back with a purple Pikmin, uh, they also move very slowly. Like, it will take them um, a lot longer than other Pikmin to bring back uh, ship parts. And, like, other parts. So. 
So what we could do now is we can leave Olimar there if you want to, which you can do this uh, later as well. You can bring him there and leave him there with the Pikmin. And then you can bring Louie or whoever you want over to here. This is for like speedrunning again, if you're into that kind of thing. They brought that back, but let's see what it's called. Let's see. 200 Poke. Oh, wow, look at that. Almost 1,000. Sephirical Atlas. There is a device resembling a microscopic enabled inside this sphere. So basically, this will allow us to get more areas. This will allow us to move on to the next area. So. But you can get one captain and bring him over here. What you could do is bring a captain over here and then click Y. And Olimar, what he could do is whistle for all these guys. And then you can use Louie and just go right in. So you don't have to carry them all back there and wait for them to leave or anything. Now, you might be saying, oh no, I lost my pick with the water. No! This is the only water they can go in. They can't swim in regular water. So, like big bodies of water, they can't swim in. But little bits like that, they can. Almost a thousand, and we lost one Pikmin. Cave complete! Yes. And now you see up there the flag. That means we get all the treasures three out of three for that cave. So we're going to save here. And it's not going to end here because remember, we have more stuff to do. I got to read the diary too. So, unlike in the first game, I just skipped it. But I want to read all, all that. I guess I'll do the same thing for this game eventually. But. You have successfully returned to the planet's surface. Excellent decision making, gentlemen. We must celebrate your first success splunking expedition. You've gathered a large amount of data that needs in depth analyzing. I shall send a report back to our president tonight detailing your progress. Olimar and Louis, since you will explore a new area tomorrow, today's work is done. What? You still want work? Unacceptable. You may not realize it, but you are exhausted. You should take a much needed rest as all as you have all the time you need to collect treasures. Haste bikes waste, so take it slow and steady. It wins the race. <laughs> now here's the thing that I skipped in part one. Oh yeah, the purple Pikmin, they will go in your ship. They don't have an onion, so they will always stay in your ship. Because they're only they you can only get them underground in caves, so. Wow. This report. Yeah, we don't need to really pay attention to that because we were saying it. All right, now the mail. I also decided with the mail, I'm going to do the same thing I did in the first game and save these all for bonus episodes because there's a lot of mail in this game. And I don't really want to read it. <laughs> no. All right, so we're going to save here. And next time, on let's play Pikmin 2. We will go because we can't go to Valor or Post anymore because we're done with that for now. Next time on Let's Play Pick a 2, we will go to the new area, Awakening Wood. See you guys.